Is Canva safe to use for print on demand or should you stop immediately? There's actually been quite a lot of drama in the official Canva Facebook group and a few people have made posts on it, a few people have made videos on it, but it's actually really confusing. After doing quite a lot of research myself, I've realized it's not as simple as just a yes or a no. In fact, it's actually really contradictory and it's left a lot of people thoroughly confused. Let's just quickly start with the backstory. With Canva, it's always been a bit confusing or whether or not we could use the elements pro or free for our print on demand products. If we could manipulate them or use them as, as they are, put them on a t-shirt or stickers or a poster and then upload them to Redbubble, Amazon, Etsy, wherever it may be. It's always been a who knows? Because their terms of service have been so confusing. Now, despite all of this, many YouTubers, including myself, have made videos about Canva, tutorials and recommending them. And that's mainly because I think we all really like using Canva. It's easy. The free option is amazing. They have tons of fonts and it just seems like a great choice for print on demand. For me, I started recommending Canva a lot more heavily after I spoke to someone in their support staff and they said it's totally okay to use for print on demand. However, now we're hearing that the support staff might actually be wrong and the information they gave us might not be so accurate and we might not be able to use the elements for print on demand. And I would just like to add on behalf of everyone on YouTube who creates videos around Canva, no one is doing it for the affiliate commission. For me, in seven years, I've made just under $2,000. In seven years, that's what, less than $300 a year from being a Canva affiliate. I can tell you no one on planet Earth would spend this much time making this many videos for under $300 a year. So that's never been the reason. The reason has been literally because Canva is easy to use, the free model is amazing, and they have some really awesome templates and, well, not necessarily templates, but graphics and fonts. And that's why I feel like a lot of people have recommended them. Either way, let's take a look. I've got my computer here and we're gonna go over the Facebook post and we're gonna go over Canva's actual terms and then we're gonna discuss what you should do, whether or not you should still use them or maybe you should like run a mile. Let's find out. This is the official Canva design community and on April 6th, there was a post by Joe Petzer, who I have to add is not a Canva employee, they are just a moderator for this group. And this person seems to have left many people thoroughly confused. And let's see why. This is the post, right? Are you creating and selling digital or printed products that you're designing in Canva? If so, this is the post for you, blah, 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 right. Selling digital products, Canva's terms explain. This is something we've all been waiting for. This is this is, a, look, this is just something we need because their terms are so confusing. A simple post is exactly what we want. So there seems to be mass confusion. Per, it explains personal use, business use, commercial use, and it just gives you some terms. Now, if we just skip, what can you sell? Canva templates that you've created yourself from scratch that contain standalone, unaltered, free or pro elements or pro photos where you're supplying Canva template. Right, that's allowed. Any items, merchandise or display that you've printed yourself containing altered free or pro elements, no standalone elements. So basically you just have to alter those elements. You can't just take it as is. That's fine. We always knew that. What can you sell? Digital end files containing only altered free elements, no pro elements. And that's interesting because why would anyone pay for pro if it doesn't give them the benefit of using the pro elements? It just seems really dumb. Like this whole post doesn't make any sense. And then also unique one-off flattened end file designs. Okay, what can't you sell? Canva templates from Canva library, even if, you, even if you've changed them. Okay, digital end files containing standalone. Okay, digital end files containing any pro element or photos whatsoever. Again, that one's confusing. And logos or trademarks containing any Canva elements or photos. Print on demand items and merchandise created with any of Canva's content. Now, this is the one that's throwing off. I mean, look, 65 comments here. This is the one that's going against uh, what the Canva support is saying. Look, you can definitely use print-on-demand products for selling free or pro content. 
The whole thing is very confusing. Now it says you can't use for your pro standalone elements as digital end files, right? But then it says digital end files containing only altered, okay, so standalone, fine. And any Canva content in a way that gives the impression it was created by you and not the original copyright owner. Okay, so let's digest this a bit. Let's 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 go through this because print on demand items. This is a huge thing for a lot of people because there has been a lot more a lot more accounts being shut down with Redbubble and Amazon and many other platforms. And could it be because you're using Canva's elements? And what this person Joe is saying is because Canva can't doesn't offer not can't but doesn't offer the licenses when you when you use some of their elements you can't use them because for example let's say amazon says do you have the license for this graphic even though technically you're allowed to use that graphic well we thought you were allowed to use it you won't be able to to provide them with uh any sort of licensing agreement or any sort of contract because you don't have that for every individual item used for example on let's say kittle or vexels or many other platforms, you are actually given the agreement, the licensing agreement that you can prove to people like Amazon, Redbubble, whoever, that you are allowed to use that element. With Canva, you're not given that. So in theory, it makes sense that you can't use their items. However, let's just go and have a look at Canva's actual licensing and policies on their website. Because remember, this is from a person who is a moderator, I don't think, well, from what I can see here, they don't work for Canva. And this is quite a huge thing. And I feel like Canva need to come out and say something. So quickly, let's have a look. Content licensing in use for Canva commercial purposes. This is on their website. It says, what's allowed? Sell your designs on merchandise. For example, t-shirts, stickers, and books, or as digital products, eBooks, magazines, and newsletters. newsletters. That is allowed. Designer sell templates with free and pro elements. Designer sell templates with free elements only, shared as PDFs, JPEGs, PNGs. Create designs for clients. What you can't do is resell Canva's templates or stock elements as is. So basically, you can't create your own stock website selling Canva's templates. Uh, sorry, selling Canva's um, elements. And I mean, that makes sense because lots of people would just create their own Canva's and start selling Canva's templates so or elements and that makes a lot of sense but it does say you can sell your designs on merchandise right and then it's just it's so confusing right so if we go to section five of the content licensing agreement permitted use of all content on canva except pro music these are the things this agreement okay invitations school university projects basically it's telling you a whole bunch of things that you can use it for and then it says any other uses approved in writing by canva Improved in writing by Canva. Now, does Canva support... Uh, is Canva support counted as approved in writing by Canva? I would argue yes, it is. Um, because Canva support are saying you can use their items. But here, it's it, like I said, it's very, very confusing. Now, one thing Joe has said is you can still use the fonts. And that's because fonts can't really be resold or stolen or whatever because you're not actually getting the font file you're just getting the font what should you do because this is confusing do you trust this person joe petzer or do you trust canva's own licensing agreements on their website or their own support staff what do you do it's confusing well personally i don't think anyone needs to worry about being sued I think you do need to worry about your accounts being shut down because that seems to be happening quite frequently. And that is something I would be worried about, especially if you're making good money on, let's say, Amazon Merch. You don't want your account shut down because you've used something from Canva. So I would I would be wary of that. Now, as well as that, I think the real problem here is if someone, if, if basically you create a design and you sell it and then someone uses that design for the wrong reason and sells that individual Canva element themselves, apparently what this person is saying is you are liable and you could be sued. Is anyone doing that, especially if you're selling on a t-shirt? I don't know, okay? I don't know and I doubt they are. Really, I doubt they are. Honestly, what should we do? Because this has left a lot of people confused, including myself. Should we shut down our Canva accounts? I mean, I'm, I'm, we're paying for them every month, especially pro people. And should we move to Vexels or Kittle or 
many other platforms. Like, what, what should we do? Well, this is what I think. I don't think we should shut down our accounts just yet. And I think what we should do is we should wait for an official response from Canva. And if they're not doing it, go and pelt their, their YouTube channel, pelt their Instagram, their Twitter. Just say, uh, you know, either send them to this video or send them to the Facebook post or send them somewhere and just say to them, what is the real answer? What are we allowed to do? We need an official response from Canva's legal team before we go and do anything drastic, like remove all of our designs from Amazon or, or Etsy or something. So before you do anything drastic, just wait for uh, an official response from someone in Canva. Because I do truly believe that they are going to be singing a very different tune because if this is the case, you know, if it's the case that you cannot use Canva for print on demand or any selling, whatever reasons, then they're going to lose so many customers. It's it will be a huge hit for them. And I just don't think that's something they want. And I do, it doesn't make any sense why they would go down that route. So let me know in the comments, what do you think of this? What, what side are you on? Do you still think it's okay to use Canva? Do you think it's not okay to use Canva? Let me know. And if you are new here, please subscribe to my channel and help me get to 100,000 subscribers. My name is Shimmy Morris. I make videos about print on demand, how to create designs, how to market those designs and how to just make money in print on demand and other various side hustles. So smash that subscribe button. And yeah, I hope, I hope I've cleared something up. I hope I've helped just a bit in terms of what's going on and what you should do, what your next step should be. But really what I think should happen next is all of us, including myself, should bombard their Twitter, their YouTube, their Instagram with either this video, with Joe Petz's post. May Arroyo made a really good uh, video as well. You could you could share that just, just to kind of get them to give us an answer. It's as simple as that.